Hi guys, it's Alan Beebe and you are at TrueIQ.com. Thank you for joining me here today. The last time uh, I made the video, we were working on the walking aspect of uh, Tandoku Dosu number four. And that also applies to Tandoku Dosu number five and six as well. Today, we're going to concentrate on the spine and on the arms. Uh, and then after that, on a different video, I'll put that, put that all together for you. So, the main thing you need to remember is that uh, two things, we have two things that, going, that are going on. Uh, one is opening and closing. So with the spine, this is about neutral. Okay, and I can close, I can turn this way. I'm gonna close right from about the opposite of where my uh, belly button is. You have to learn this, how to do this. I'm going to use my back muscles to stick this part out. Now what most people do is they pull on their pelvis to try to stick that out. You don't wanna do that. It's okay if your pelvis gets dragged, but I'm not moving from my pelvis. All right, so here I am, and that part goes out, and it keeps coming out and pulls everything down. So open and close, and open and close and open and close all right you notice that this is rotating i'm not going i'm not going open and close open and close this is hanging it's passive all right what i'm using is from here and it happens to be attached to everything else so when that starts to pull out it's pulling my legs and rotating my legs you don't see that very much here and it rotates my arms as well neutral when i open i'm opening from about the same place people think about the belly I suggest you think about the spine. I'll go in front of the spine, and now the spine is arching that way, okay? And because the tissues are attached, my legs and my arms rotate, but it's a passive rotation right now. Okay, give me a face on one. So, close and open and close and open and close and open okay um that motion should be able to be f free of your breath you can either inhale or exhale while you're doing it doesn't matter um the natural thing is that when we open we inhale and when we close we exhale and when you're being operational, uh, you want to just be as natural as possible. Uh, but when you're training, there are some times when it uh, behooves you to do things backwards because it creates tension in the system and then you, uh, it promotes an adaptive response. But we'll go into that later. All right, so that was the spine opening and closing. Also, the spine can turn, so we've talked about this before. So I'm here and I'm turning. Now what a lot of people like to do is just like they'll say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to say, I'm going to close this way. They'll move their pelvis, right? And that's not really what I'm doing. I'm moving my spine, okay? When I start to turn, oftentimes what people will do is 
move there, I'll exaggerate, move their pelvis and say, look at me. That's not what I'm doing here, okay? I'm rotating and I'm moving my pelvis relatively little, okay? Okay, we're not gonna use this so much today. But what that is doing, of course, is my spine is going like this. So I have open and close, right? And I have this kind of turn. With the arms, same thing. You have open, you have closed. Now, what uh, I mentioned earlier, this bone, the humerus, is actually longer than these. There's a line that goes, uh, that when I bring this up, there can be a line, imaginary line, between my, the head of my humerus and, say, my wrist. And I'm going to run my hand along my wrist, along that imaginary, that imaginary line. And what that does is it ensures that these two bones and this bone will uh, rotate equally if I do that. Okay, so that's an open, that's a close, that's an open, that's a close. Uh, you can open up, you can open down. Okay, right? You can open out, you can open uh, close in, I can open out. You'll notice I don't, I don't pass the center line. And I move back, boom, boom, boom. Okay, uh, oh, and so I'm hitting three directions, three dimensionality. So I'm moving here. I don't like to have this be 90 degrees to my body. So when I stick this out, for illustration, I'm putting it out straight. In practice, this turns, okay? And I'll get to that in just a second. And then back, forward, back, forward, okay? Um, where your elbows are in relationship to your body is important. I used to have people measure up like this. And it puts it on the right line. Trouble is, most... Okay, and if you look at my body wall here, you'll notice that my elbows are in front of my body wall. Okay? Ooh, and I noticed that my scapula is sticking out. That's no good. Um... The trouble is, is that there's enough play that people go something like that. So if you go like this, if you do namaste, or if you go like this, which some people of you will recognize, your elbow goes right in the sweet spot, okay? So this is where I like to keep my elbow, all right? On this, on oh, then we have the uh, I showed you the opening and closing, okay? Then we have a turning down the center of these, okay? And this is gonna get to be important later on. These aren't straight, it's offset, so you're gonna have two different things happen. When I turn down the center of the humerus, this happens to my arm, okay? And that's me turning down the center of the, the humerus. And when this is turning, and my humerus is turning, then I get something along those lines. Now, can I do that? Can I do that um, uh, in conjunction with opening and closing? Yes, the answer is yes, I can. And in fact, I do. So that's what's coming up next. Now I'm gonna uh, show you standing straight on, all right? What we do so my hands are here they're not crossing the center line they're on the center line as if I had a Ken right and I'm just gonna use this hand here and I start to rotate this I'm also gonna rotate this and I'm opening the arm so it goes like it goes like this okay and I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the top in that motion while I'm doing that, I'm opening my, uh, my, I'm closing the back to open the front of my body. So I 
close the back to open the front of my body. And this brings my hands up, okay? And then when I come down, I pull on that spot from the back of my belly button and it rolls my shoulders forward. And you'll notice that this closes and then comes down. So now it's this way, okay? So it's this way. You know, it's not going like this, Cam. I'm going this way, comes to the top, and then down, okay? Same thing here, this way, comes to the top, and then down. All right, really important. Now, um, when you first start, you're just gonna move things, and you can't really help that. Uh, just know that you don't just move things, particularly from the outside. You move things on the inside, and then the outside moves, all right? But that's gonna come with time and training. Um, when I rotate, the, either this part, this part, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the end. You don't wanna stop until you get all the way to the end of what you can rotate. Most people are pretty lousy at this rotation of the humerus, all right? Okay, all the way to the top and then down all the way, all right? That will kind of guide you in your opening and closing. So, I'm standing like this. First thing, you can see this center line here. First thing that happens is this appears to be opening on this center, opening on this center line, all right? Um, I'm going to extremes because I'm training. This is training now, okay? This opens, op this is opening, 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 and boom, from here. Boom, closing, 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 closing. This is closing to closing and neutral. And opening, 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 and closing, 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 closing. Okay? Don't bother going fast. There's uh, no point in it at this point. Go slow and uh, pay attention to what's going on inside of you. All right? Um, when you figure this thing out, you'll figure out that there's all kinds of movements where we're opening and closing uh, because that's what we do, all right? But that's the preparatory thing for our tondo kudosa. So we're opening this way and closing, okay? And, okay, and we're opening this way and closing, all right? Okay, when you finish, one thing that Shinata Sensei always did, and you should too, is you've, you've gone here, you've done these, whether with it can or empty-handed, you do the same. Opening, 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 close fully, and then come back to neutral. Okay, and neutral is neutral. It's not closed, it's not open, it's in between. So you take a deep breath, let everything just kind of float, right? Yeah, you're doing one of these kind of jobs. After you're done with your set, then you're like, and you know, back to neutral, back to, back to normal, all right? That's uh, really super quick uh, and what I have for you today. So uh, uh, next time we'll put all that together. There's a ton of stuff in there. You're gonna miss most of it for a long period of time probably. Uh, um, and once again, I strongly suggest you get out and meet uh, people who can 
not just do the outer form of this, but uh, do the inner form. What you'll notice, for example, is if you put your, if you were to grab, you can wind just like you're gonna go like this and not have any visible movement in the hand. You will move because from the core, it's starting to wind in the tissue, all right? Uh, most people can't do that, so that's a, uh, most people can do this, right? Most people can't do that, and uh, so there's a kind of a tell right there. That's why, you know, uh, I guess one of the phrases, it has to be felt, although there's a fault with that too, because we all have, uh, uh, we're limited to our personal experience, so. Um, uh, you know, if I'm riding around in a, on a horse and uh, somebody drives up in a VW Bug, I'm going to be as impressed as I can possibly be and think, well, that's, that's, that's it. There, there it is. It's all awesome. But, uh, but of course, there's more than that, but my experience limits me to think that, oh, this is, this is good. Okay. Um, anyway. I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.